Hey, what's up, everybody? This is gonna be a test on probability. That's chapter five. Chapter six is binomial random variables and expected value. Chapter seven is the normal distribution. Let's do it. This should be quick, not a lot of questions. Uh, and I'll do these kind of quick. Uh, you need to show your work for essay questions, true or false? That is true, you need, you need to show your work for these questions to get full credit. Number two, Jesse pulled out 11 cards and counted the number of hearts to determine the probability of getting hearts. What type of probability is this? This is empirical because she's pulling out cards. She's doing an experiment that makes it empirical. Let's look at this one. Um, probability that somebody was first class or died. I have the answer here, 1490 plus 203. Uh, first class or died. So notice that the, the number of people that died was 1490. And the number of first class is 325, but I did not put 325 here. What I did was, and sorry about the sound right now, there's like gardening going on right side of my house, but I only added 203 extra because as far as the first class goes 122 people have already been counted so there's only 203 left and make sure you divide by 2201 okay number four the following are data on the titanic find the probability that someone from the titanic was older than 50 years old Ooh, that's a tough one it says older than 50. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the data and i'm really just going to count how many of these were older than 50. like these are not these are not oh there's one i'll count that one i'll count that one i'll count that one i just need to count the number of a uh, number of people that were older than 50 that's it but i want to preferably do that with technology because it's like what if the list is super long then you don't want to be counting it's gonna you might make a mistake or who knows what so you go over here you plug it in and then what you do is you can sort the data look you can sort it in ascending or even descending and look look at how many of the people are older than 50 there's 18 of them this is the where the 50 stops so 51 and above to 80 is 18 people and then how many people are there total just scroll down i guess scroll down should get to 97 somewhere uh, right there so there's 97 people and then 18 of them are older than 50 that's one way to do it other ways to do it is to make like a frequency distribution um this one do i want this one no let's see where's another frequency distribution somewhere maybe make a histogram and then if you make a histogram of the ages you get this if you make like a specific histogram like go to graph histogram and you can select age and maybe make the start at zero and make the class width 10 and then put the value above the bar press compute and you can count from this bar here this is an interesting bar because that's where the 50 happens it's including the people that are 50 so notice that if I add 12 plus 4, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 people are at least 50, but that's different than older than 50. 20 people are at least 50. So I need to say, oh shoot, there's two people that are 50, so 20 minus 2 is 18. So that's another way to do it with either a frequency distribution or this histogram, some other way. There's many ways to do this question. So the answer is 18 over 97. And then you can you know, get the percentage and stuff like that. For this question, it's the roulette question. Kind of, I've made so many videos videos on this one. So basically, the payout is either zero or 480. I, I don't know if I should explain this because I have so many videos on this already. But notice that when you win, you get you get 480 and the 12 dollars back. But but the 12 dollars is was already yours, so that's not going to be your your earnings there. That's not going to be your revenue coming in because that was already your $12. So therefore, I've only put 480 here and I only put zero here in case of if I lose, I make nothing. But if I win, I make 480. My cost is 12. I find the expected payout to be $11.43. So that's how much I'm expected my revenue coming in. That's what I expected to make. But profit, notice that it's revenue minus cost. So my revenue is 1143 my cost was 12 if I subtract that I get negative 57 cents so that's my expected profit negative 57 cents that's it a basketball player has a 25% chance of making a free throw they shoot 30 free throws what's the probability that they make at most four three at most six free throws so we'll do X less than or equal to six this is binomial we got n is 30 we got the constant probability 25% so where's the binomial thing so we got 30 30 shots we got what do we got 25 percent chance of making a free throw i think we want at most six and there you go that's it that's your answer make sure you copy paste this in to show your work on the test okay 
So, yep, all that was right. Okay, next one. The following is binomial, true or false. No, it's not binomial. I put false because the sample size is two, the, the population size is six. That sample size is not less than 5% of this population size. And what effect does that have? Well, it, vi it makes it so that you violate rules of the binomial random variable, specifically the constant probability and the independence. Think about how the, your first chance of picking a red ball, it's 50%. You got three red, three blue, right? Your first chance when you pick a red, it's a 50% chance of getting red. So you pull the red out. Well, now what's your chance of getting a red? There's only two reds left. Two out of five is 40%. So the, the probability changes from 50 to 40. That's not a constant probability, so we say false. It's not binomial. Next one, an exam takes 60 minutes to complete. On average, standard deviation 12. It's, looks This looks normally, right? Normally distributed. They're given extra credit to anyone who finishes in less than 40 minutes. Straightforward, chapter 7, probability question. Where is the normal distribution? Here it is. No, where is it? Maybe back here. So what was the average again? It was 60 and 12. Okay, 60, 12, to give an extra credit. Oops, I put 20. Standard, we're going less than 40 minutes. We'll go over here, we'll put 40, press enter. Boom, there's your answer. Show this work, copy this to show your work. But here, here's your answer. Here's your, your probability that you'll give someone extra credit. A lot of construction going on next door right now. So sorry about this, there's a lot of noise. And gardening to boot so anyway that's that one uh, the amount of time that people study for an exam is normally distributed with a mean of 140 minutes standard deviation 45 okay i'm just gonna go over here and put 140 and 45 to get that out of the way um let's see the honor society created a school you got to be in the top 10 percent in order to be in the club okay top 10 percent i'm gonna go greater than and i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna put 0.1 boom and there's my time 197.66982 that is the time needed to be in this club you need to study for 197.67 hours per whatever what is it per day or for an exam okay for exams you need to study for that much time in order to be in this honor society you need to be dedicated to be in that honor society the average time for a runner to finish a mile is 310 with the standard deviation 20. This looks normal to me. I'm going to go over here and put 310 20, I think it was. 310 and 20. Normally distributed. He's training. He needs to complete 30 runs. This is a tough one. Tough question. For a run to be accepted, it has to be within 4.5 minutes. Well, that's 270 seconds to 300 seconds. If you multiply these times 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. So multiply these two numbers times 60 and you get 270 to 300. So what I'm going to do first, step one, is what percentage of runs are accepted? Well, that's the probability that X is between 270 and 300, right? So that should be that. So we have to find this with the normal distribution, 270, 300. That's easy. Just click between 270, 300. You get this percentage right there. So that's the percentage. This is a tough question. That's the percentage of runs that are accepted. All right. So how? So if only 30% of runs are accepted, or 29%, if only 29% of runs are accepted, well, how many runs do I need to do in order to get 30? Well, that's just a bit. This is a percentage question. Just divide 30 by 0.28. This is 105.0. Not too many people can get this. I, this per, a percentage question like this is the common one of the most common mistakes in math so so most people will multiply this percentage times 30 not divide it 30 into it you know okay last question according to a teacher students are late 25 percent of the time okay if they're late 20 percent 25 percent of the time that means they're on time 75 percent of the time question says that what's the probability that between 7 and 10 students are on time right inclusive are on time so that's why i wanted this 75 percent because the question is regarding on time. We have 19 students. This is binomial. Where is the binomial here? 19 students, 25% are on. Wait, on what percentage of students are on time? 75%. So we want to put 75 here, right? 75% of students are on time. We're going inclusive between 7 and 10. There you go. Only 3% what? 3% what? That's the probability that between 7 and 10 students are on time. If 75% of students are on time, 
What's the probability out of 19 that between 7 and 10 students are on time? That's it. So the answer is that, 0 0.02, blah, blah, blah. And I think we're done. So hope that helps.